Okay, now there's another thing we want to do here. I've solved this question before, and this question uh, we have done it before. Just look at it, we have done it before. This 50 kg was here, this one was having him here, while this one was having five here. But we decided to change the position of the mass now. This one is this first one is not five, and this one is not two. In the first, in the first one I saw, in the first example I saw, this one was larger, this mass was larger than this. Now that I've changed it now, let us see what will happen here. You know, the way I saw it when this one was larger, the way I saw it's going to be quite different from the way I saw this one. See this one is not larger than this. You mean that now we can see that the weight now will not be on this. You mean that the system will move in this direction, the system will move in that direction. You mean that the acceleration there is going to be negative, meaning the acceleration will work. A negative. Okay, now resolving this very one, and remember that we know the component of the system is Fg. We also know the component here, and this one will work uh, Fg cos theta. Then we will Fg cos theta. Don't forget, y here is the what now? Is the dot n. And here we also have the Fn. You don't forget Fn. The tension, the only force here now, the only force in this, uh, uh, this uh, group is tension, and the only force here is also tension. And see now, but what we have there now, what can we do? What can we need to from here now? What can we do? We need to now resolve this system into components. We need to now resolve the system into components. Now, resolving this very one, let us see. I know that we are having a uh, question of electrification and it's zero point one five. That was what we have in the question we saw it before. Now we are having the same uh, equation now. Now, what can we need to do that? This system is affected by kinetic friction. Now, this body now is moving to this direction. Maybe there will be a, uh, a frictional force that will be opposing it, and that will be kinetic friction. As you try to move, move in this direction, to bring it down, the same thing with this one also bring it down. It means that in this case now, I can now solve now, but there's sigma Fy, and it's going to be Fn minus uh, M1G cos theta. And at the end, here is zero, and this one is Fn minus what? M1 g cos theta. Let us see, okay? Now, what we have here, we cannot see our Fn is equal M1 g cos theta. This one will be our solution here. I can call this one equation one. Now, some of the other one there, uh, okay? You know, uh, we also have the gas mass, which is M1. We can also get x, therefore, we will be having Fc as positive. And uh, Fk will be negative, and Fg will also be negative. Now, in this case, now what can we do here? We will not have an acceleration here, and we will M1a equal to C minus what is Fk? And then we will just take it first. Later on, we have to replace there. What is the next time for? Now, in this case, now we make T the subject, and here I will have a T, and the F for that one will become M1a plus Fk plus Fg. This is what I will have here. We that this one is equation uh, 2, this one is equation 2. Now, now we resolve this one. This one only have one component, and this one, the only component has is a y component. Remember, the weight of this one is a W2. And at the end, you can see the tension there. I will get the sigma Fy become what now? T minus W2. And at the end there, what can we do? What can we really do? We need this one because you know the uh, body is moving down. Is moving down now. This one, the acceleration of this one is negative. Become m, m what? And this one become what? M two minus m two minus m two a equal what? C minus uh, w minus w. Now in this case, now my t now become this one coming over become what? W two uh, minus m two a. That's what I have there. That's what I have there. This one I call this one equation. Three, we shall three. Now to do this, I want to get the tension. The tension, remember the tension in the uh, mass one, the same thing as the tension here. Now getting the tension, and let us see what happen. Let us see what happen. We that T become what now the first one, if we do the first tension, we have M1 A plus F K, and then we also have the other one with F plus F G equal what now? We also have the same tension as W2, W2. Minus uh, okay, M2 M2 G. That you all have there. Now, in this case, now bridging is it M2 G? Okay, this is A, not G. It's A, not G. Okay, bringing this one and this together, it will not be positive. It will not be positive. Now, both of them will not be positive. 
hivi wao have here na iko na every other one have to move to meet of the two the power of the man is fk man is fg that go and go to party now my acceleration here the power of now factor of the acceleration for m1 was was tend to and equal w2 minus fk minus fg okay and at the end the variable side we are going to have w2 minus fk minus fk here minus fg and at the end of all of our m1 m1 m2 now that one has to be substituted what all these things stand for w2 we stand for m2 g the good word m2 g and fk remember fk fk don't forget fk is equal to k fn fn we already get got it fn from the system we already got it fn by fn here we got good one k here we k m1 g cos theta and the other one the fg is equal to don't forget that fg is equal to m g sin theta and don't forget we already got done before the fg now become what m m1 g sin theta I go what we have there. Now on the system we have if we are this okay, this all of our all of our M1 plus M2, M2. Now from what we have here, we that we can get the acceleration of the system. What is the first mass? The first mass here, okay, we have the mass two, not the first mass, we have the mass two first, mass two is 15, 15 times 10, not 15 years, 15 times 10. And what the other mass there, we have the other, okay, we have the K. We get the next thing there, and we get what do we get? We get zero point fifteen. The good was zero point fifteen. Zero point fifteen. Okay, times m one. M one is what five. You know five plus five. Okay, what do our g? Our g is ten. And the what is the cost? The cost of uh, forty. Cost of forty degree k. Because we are going to get down later. Our m one here is five times ten times sine of forty. Let us see what will happen again. All over m M okay M one M one okay M one is a uh, five and M two is a uh, fifteen M two is fifteen that we will have there now in this case now I think we can multiply we can uh, multiply we can multiply this one is one fifty this one is one fifty I think we have uh, we get something of this nature before okay this one will be this one will be was okay minus zero point one five times uh, fifty here yeah, fifty this one will times here is fifty and cost of 40 is 0 0.76, okay, 7, 7, is good was 7, 6, 6, 0, okay, that's what we have there. And this one will also be 50, here will be 50, and the sign of, uh, the sign of 40 is 0 point, is 0 point, uh, 6, 4, 2, 8, that we will have there. All over, all over 20, that we will have there. Now, in this case, now what can we do now? We need to now multiply each of them, we need to now multiply each of them. I will multiply here, we also multiply here, okay? Let us see, if we multiply them now. Let us see from our calculator, let us multiply. From our calculator, let us multiply. Okay, from the calculator here, we are going to calculate, we are going to calculate uh, this one. We are going uh, to calculate this very one, okay? From the calculator here, we are having uh, like this one here. We multiply this one, we will multiply this one with my calculator. Look at what I have. I have a... Uh, Okay, let me get to the marker. I have a A from my calculator here. I have A equal this one is 150. I won't touch this. I only multiply this one with my calculator. I have a okay, five points. That is a five points seven by seven four five. That is what I have there. Four five. And when I multiply 50 by the other one there, I have 32. By this one, I have 32 points. Uh, from the calculator here, I have 32.14. 1, 4, now all over 20, all over 20. Now, when you will not, when you will not do uh, 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 here, you increase, so you minus here, here, and uh, put of them increase. This one still remain 150, 150, okay? If this one increase negatively, if this one increase negatively, look at what I have on my calculator. I have that 37, 37 points, 37 point 885. I will have here all over 20, all over 20. When I uh, minus, when I minus 150 from this, when I take this one from 150, look at what I have from my calculator. I have here 112, 112, okay? Yes, 112. I have 112.
1.2 points from the calculator. So I have 1.2.115, 115 all over 20. And when I uh, divided, uh, I was having the acceleration become approximately 5.6 meter per second squared. That is what I have as my acceleration of the system. Now see now, that one become the acceleration of the system. That is fact. We can also use your calculator and try it and you get the same value the way I brought my value. Okay, now this one is the acceleration of the system. Remember this mass now is now larger than this one. In the first one I did, I placed this thing here and this part was here. You can see the acceleration will be about 1.1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. 1.46 meter per second. So when I use the same system, I got something like this. When this two was here and five was here. Now I decided to change the position of the mark now. It means that this acceleration has moved to this direction. But when the two was here, the acceleration was to the other direction. It was moving to the next. You can see now from here I can okay, we can also get the tension. You can also get the tension in this system. Remember, in that one I did, I also calculated the tension. I calculated tension in that one I did. In that one, when I used the same system, I calculated tension. If we from here, now I have calculated acceleration. I can also calculate the, uh, the tension in this system. You that the tension in uh, this one, the same tension here, that is in M1, like a 5kg now, the tension here is the same tension in the different one here. You know that the tension is T, and we can use any of this equation. I can make use of equation 2 or equation 3, and I will get uh, my solution. Okay, let me use equation 3. Using equation 3, then we have it there. Equation 3 is T. Equation 3 is T. What we have there? We have equation 3 as uh, equal to the U2 minus M2G A. The M2 A. Now, since we have M2 A, now what is our double U2? Our double U2 is M2. G, M2G is W2, and what? 2G, M2G, M2G, yes, M2G is our W2, and the other one there, okay, this one still remain, okay, now substitute, now let us substitute, let us really substitute, like that, substitute here, what is my W2, my W2, okay, okay, yes, yes, this is my W2, and M2 there is 15, and what is our acceleration is what, 10, and what is our what is our, okay, our M2C is equal to 15, okay, and our acceleration, I think we have gotten our acceleration. When it's not acceleration, it's the graph is 10. The acceleration we've gotten there and it's what, 5.6, 5.6. And when we do here, it will be what, 150. Let us do this very one. You know, from my calculator, let me calculate there, that one and get the value. Okay, when I get, I've already got the value for this one now. I've used my calculator to buy. And get this one, and this one is 84. And when you minus 6, you are going to have 66. You minus 150 from 84, you have 66 meeting. That one will be your uh, tension. It's the same tension in both. And I think it's time to use this, the other one, because I think it's time to use equation 2. I will still get my tension, the same tension will also be because the tension in M1 is the same tension in M2. This is all we have for today. This is all we have for today. Uh, okay, this one is the conclusion of the whole matter. Maybe you got a hand, uh, everything about equation. Uh, equation can still have been on um, this aspect of equation for a long time. Okay, well, at this point, we are going to conclude this equation. I mean, my next uh, plan now is types of motion. My next plan will be what types of uh, motion. We are going to look at the different types of motion. We still have a lot of calculations to do in that aspect. We are going to ask you look at the types we are going to calculate as we get along. Okay, thank you very much. This is all about today's class. Have a nice day. Uh, I wish you all the best. All the best. All the best.